Ferry City Council for January the 17th, 2020 to order. Our first item of business is the swearing in of Council Member Joy Peterson. And she'll be sworn in by the City Attorney, Brooke Peterson. First time in a long time, I think last week, last meeting, we had a full council. But we're delighted to have Mr. Pearson with us this evening. And we do have a quorum this evening. Kind of forward is invocation of the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. I would ask you to stand if you're able at this time. Dr. King will lead us in the invocation. Dr. King will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance.
hope that you're willing to serve. I am. <laughs> and as a point of personal privilege, Community partner updates. Is there anyone here who would like to update the council at this time? Thank you. Item seven is set citizens with input. Are there any citizens here this evening that would like to address the council at this time? Yes, sir. Bob Cunningham, I live in Houston Springs. Request a traffic light, flashing yellow, flashing red, at the corner of Airport Road and 341. We've had two accidents there lately. It sees the citizens have trouble getting across that road, especially since it's 55. Okay. Mr. Gilmore, if you will take that under advisement, uh, we'd appreciate it. Uh, yes, if I may. Yes, sir. I'd be happy to pass on the request from council to do that. However, 341 is a federal state route, and therefore Georgia DOT makes the criteria. Thank you. Is there anyone else here this evening who would like to address council at this time? Public hearing. <clears throat> the purpose of this public hearing is to provide any interested parties 
with an opportunity to express their views and concerns in accordance with OCGA 36-66-4. Item 8A is a special exception 102-2019. The applicant is Jacqueline Hutto a request, a, requesting a special exception to operate a daycare home for up to six children. The property is located at 303. Kendall Court, the tax map number is 0P0650480000. Mr. Wood. Thank you, Mayor. Mayor and Council, this request, as you mentioned, is for a special exception to operate a home daycare. Uh, the property is located in the Abington Glen subdivision that you see here. This is uh, Kings Chapel Road, the entrance into Abington Glen, and uh, the, the applicant's property is located at the end of um, Kendall Court at 313 Kendall Court. Um, the, ap the application is for up to, uh, to care for up to six children. Uh, the applicant indicates that drop-offs and pickups will be staggered uh, so that there's usually no more than one or two additional vehicles at the house at any one time. In reviewing the criteria, uh, four special exception staff and planning commission both felt that this complied with those standards. Uh, we are both recommending approval of the application with four criteria. Number one is that the special exception shall be limited to a residential business conducted as a home date, home uh, child care only. That the special exception shall be limited to the applicant, Jacqueline Hutto, and is not transferable. That the applicant shall comply with the provisions of section 4-4.3 of the land management ordinance regarding home occupations and residential businesses, as well as applicable state, local, and federal laws and regulations. And number four, that no sign advertising the business shall be posted or displayed on the property. And I'll be happy to answer any questions you may have of me. Before you do, I would want to make sure that I do declare this public meeting open or hearing open at, at this point in time so that everybody will, the record will show that it was open uh, for anyone to make any comments. What questions do you have relative to this special exception for Mr. Wood? That's correct. The application is for up to six, and that is the requirement under state law for this type of home occupation. Is there anyone here that would like to speak in favor of this application? Thank you. Is there anyone here that would wishes to speak in opposition of this application. Thank you. We will, in this public hearing, we will hear all three of these uh, exceptions that we've been asked to review. Item 8B is special exception 108-2019 the applicant is Destiny Higgins, and there is a request of a special exception to operate a daycare home at the residence. The property is located at 108 Chaparral Drive. The tax map number is 0P38E0020000. Mr. Wood. Thank you, Mayor. Mayor and Council, this request is a special exception for a home daycare. The property is located um, in the Highlands Ranch subdivision. That is um, located, if you notice here, Highway 41 North, and then this is Todd Road, and then you turn into Highlands Ranch, and they are located at this uh, property right here, uh, which is 108 Chaparral Drive. Um, the applicant, again, is requesting a home daycare uh, to care for up to six children. The hours of operation are 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. and uh, parents will be instructed to pull into the driveway or garage for pickup and drop off. In reviewing the criteria for granting a special exception, both the staff and the planning commission felt that this 
complied and are recommending four conditions for approval. Uh, number one, that the special exception shall be limited to the uh, to a residential business conducted as a home daycare only. That the special exception be limited to the applicant Destiny Higgins and is not transferable. That the applicant shall comply with the special uh, with the provisions of section 4-4.3 of the land management ordinance regarding home occupations and residential businesses, as well as applicable local, state, and federal laws and regulations. And number four, that no sign advertising the business be posted on the property. Thank you, Mr. Wood. What questions do you have for Mr. Wood relative to this daycare request? I would make the same statement, Mr. Wood. It's not listed in this special exception that's on the board, but this is for a maximum of six children. That is correct. Any other questions? Is there anyone here that would like to speak in favor of this special exception? Thank you. Is there anyone here that would want to speak in opposition of this special exception? Thank you. Our third item in the public hearing is 8C, and this is a petition for RZNE 106-2019. The applicant is Bryant Engineering, Chad Bryant, a request for rezoning of property from R-AG, Residential Agricultural District, and PUD, Planned Unit Development District, to C-1, Highway Commercial District. The property is located on Highway, Georgia Highway 127, and the pack, you know, tax map number is 0P06102-8000. Mr. Wood. Thank you, Mayor, members of council. This request, as you mentioned, is 22 acres, which is located on Highway 127, just um, west of um, Langston Road, is here, which intersects um, uh, Highway 127 and a little further down. This is uh, Foundations Academy and uh, the dentist office. Uh, that are located so you can see this is just <coughs> west of those properties. Um, in reviewing the criteria, um, again, this, this property is 22 acres. Um, the applicant uh, has indicated plans to develop a self-storage facility as well as a speculative uh, commercial building um, on, on a portion of property, and those plans are in your packet. Um, the plans for the remaining portion of the property are not known at this time. Uh, Self-storage facilities are only permitted in these uh, C1, uh, M1, and um, some uh, form-based code districts. Uh, this, uh, the C1 application seems to be more appropriate um, to consider at this location. Um, currently, the properties to the east of, the, of this property um, in these areas are zoned commercial. Um, there's a commercial node that kind of exists at that location, so this would be, um, uh, seems to be a logical extension of that. Um, the, uh, in reviewing the criteria, staff and planning commission both uh, felt that the, uh, the application met the criteria and are recommending approval of the application. And I'd be happy to answer any questions you may have. Council members, what questions do you have relative to this rezoning application? Thank you. Is there anyone here that would want, would like to speak in favor of this application or rezoning? Thank you. Is there anyone here that would like to speak in opposition to this rezoning request? Thank you. This public hearing is now closed. <coughs> Council members, you've been provided with the minutes from the December the 16th, 2019 work session, is the December 17th, 2019 pre-council meeting, and the December 17th, 2019.
council meeting minutes. At this time, I'll entertain a motion to accept these minutes as presented. So motion and a second. Are there any additions, deletions, or changes to these minutes at this time? Hearing none, all in favor, please indicate by raising your right hand. Please let the record show the minutes were approved unanimously. Item 10 on our agenda this evening is any old business. 10A is a special exception application 097-2019. Mr. Wood. Thank you, Mayor, members of council. This is the item that you postponed from your last meeting regarding um, special exception for auto service and automobile washer detailing at 626 General Courtney Hodges Boulevard. The property, as you can see here, is located on General Courtney Hodges at the intersection of Martin Luther King Jr. Drive. Um, after your last meeting, we I met with the or talked with the um, the applicant, and he provided a written statement that is included in your packet of the activities that he intends to um, uh, conduct at this location. That includes um, the tinting of windows uh, for cars, uh, which will require a washing of those vehicles once, once they're finished, as well as washing uh, vehicles on site. Uh, he also has a mobile washing business, and that is, as he as he put it, the majority of his uh, auto washing uh, will be done off-site, but there will be some, some auto washing uh, done on this location as well. Um, there are, um, as was brought to your attention at the last meeting, there are um, potentially some environmental issues related to stormwater. Um, there was a memo that you had last, at the last meeting that provided uh, from uh, Chad McMurray that provided four options uh, for addressing those issues. Uh, Chad McMurray, our uh, engineering, manager, engineering uh, services manager, has met with Mr. Davis uh, to address those and look at options of how to comply with that. Um, and so at this point, I think we've provided uh, the information that we've been able to retain for you. I'd be happy to answer any questions in that matter. Thank you, Mr. Wood. <coughs> Council members, any questions relative to the special exception application? Mr. Wood, is there, a, Mr. Davis, is there a food truck being operated on site at all? I've seen a food truck stored there. I don't know if it's been operated or not. It's stored there. <coughs> it's there. It's, it's stored there, yeah. I would say that if, if the food truck is operated there, it would be allowed um, uh, under the zoning classification. Uh, you have to, it has to be in a location where restaurants would be allowed. And so it, is, it, is a, it would be allowed there if there is a uh, temporary use permit to operate at that location. <coughs> Accept the special exception as written. There's a motion and a second. All in favor, please indicate by raising your right hand. All opposed? Please let the record show that there was four in favor of uh, Mr. Jones and, and Mrs. Peterson voted against it. Item 10B is uh, ordinance of ordinances for second reading and adoption. 10B, one is the second reading of an ordinance and a, for the rezoning of property from R-1 single family residential district to IN institutional district. The property is located on Keith Drive. The tax map number is 0P04403D000. Mr. Wood. Thank you, Mayor. Members of Council, this is a second reading of an application 
to rezone property, and it, the property is located on Keith Drive, just uh, just north of its intersection with Main Street. It's at the end of a row of existing um, medical facilities, medical office buildings, and the proposed use here is also a medical facility. The staff and planning commission both recommended approval of this zoning modification. Thank you, Mr. Wood. What questions do you have for Mr. Wood relative to this rezoning? Hearing none at this time, I'll entertain a motion to approve as recommended by staff. So move. There's a motion. Second. There's a motion and a second. All in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, saying. Please let the record show that the ordinance was approved unanimously. <coughs> Thank you. Item 11 is any other old business. 11A is old business from the mayor. I have none. <coughs> 11B is old business from the council member. <coughs> Ms. Bonnie Brace? I have none. Mr. Jones? No. Mr. Albright? No. Mr. Hunt? No. Mr. Peterson? No. Mr. King? No. Thank you. Item 11C is any old business from the city attorney, Ms. Newton? Yes, sir. Item 11D is uh, any old business from the city manager, Mr. Gilmore? No, sir. And 11E is any old business from the assistant city manager, Mr. Smith? No, sir. Thank you. Item 12 is new business. 12A are matters referred from the January 7, 2020 pre-council meeting. Mr. Gilmore, it's my understanding there was nothing referred for a vote tonight from that meeting. That is correct. Thank you. 12B is special exception application 102-2019, Mr. Wood. Yes, Mayor, this is the uh, special exception for home um, home daycare at uh, 313 Kendall Court with a maximum of six children to be cared for. Thank you. At this time, I'll entertain a motion to approve the special exception 102-2019. So moved. Uh, is that subject to six? Six. Is that okay with you, Mr. I believe it's needed. I think it's his motion. I make sure that you have your motion. And you're agreeable with that. So. Okay. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, please indicate by raising your right hand. Please let the record show that special exception 102 was approved unanimously. Item 12C is special exception application 108 2019. Mr. Wood? Yes, this is special <laughs> exception to allow a home daycare. Um, at 108 Chaparral Drive, again, with a maximum of six children. Okay. At this time, I'll entertain a motion to accept this, uh, approve the special exception application on 08. So moved. Same. With the same conditions. Same conditions. Same conditions. Okay, good. Thank you. All in favor, please indicate by raising your right hand. Please let the record show that the, this, the special exception was approved unanimously. 12D or ordinances for the first reading and introduction. 12D1 is the first reading of an ordinance for the rezoning of property from R-G Residential Agricultural District and PUD Plan Unit Development District to C-1 Highway Commercial District. The property is located on Georgia Highway 127. Tax map number is 0P06100280000. Council members, this is the first reading of this ordinance and there is no action required at this time. <coughs> Item 10B2 is the first reading of an ordinance amending the FY 2020 operating budget. Mr. Gilmore. Thank you, Mayor. Mayor and Council, in your packet is a copy of the proposed amendment to the FY 2020 operating budget. The purpose of this ordinance, which you may remember we do each year around this time, is to adjust for revenues and expenditures to add funds that were not originally budgeted that rolled over, for example, construction funds, and to implement policies or decisions that council has made this fiscal year so far. Thank you, Mr. Gilmore. Anyone have any questions of Mr. Gilmore on this first reading? Thank you. Given this is a first reading, no action is required tonight by the council. 12B is resolutions for introduction and adoption 12E1 is a resolution amending the moratorium on the issuance of any permit for the conservation subdivision use district. Mr. Gilmore. 
Thank you, Mayor. Mayor and Council, as you may remember, there was discussion about a moratorium on conservation use subdivisions due to some concerns relative to parking and other public safety issues. Uh, we are recommending that you adopt this, which establishes a time frame, which I believe is to May something. 17. May 7th. Thank you. <clears throat> May 17th, 2020. Okay, what questions do you have relative to this resolution that's been presented to us? Hearing none, I'll accept, I entertain a motion to accept this as recommended by staff. So moved. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor, please indicate by raising your right hand. Please let the record show that the resolution was approved unanimously. Excuse me. Uh, Mayor. I do want to point out the direction from the council, though, was to move as quickly as possible to get this resolved. Yes. That, that is the end bit we would like to have it resolved for. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Gilmore, for that clarification. 12E2 is a resolution of declaration of official intent to reimburse costs of acquiring vehicles and equipment with tax exempt financing in this team. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mayor. Council, the resolution that you have before you is to send a resolution required by um, GMA Lease Financing Program to, for the city to reimburse itself for capital items purchase and lease purchase, purchase program for the 2020 capital items. Thank you, Ms. Key. What questions do you have on Ms. Key relative to this financing? <clears throat> At this time, I'll entertain a motion to uh, approve the resolution as, re as requested by staff. Second. Second. A motion to second. All in favor, please indicate by raising your right hand. <coughs> please let the record show that the resolution was approved unanimously. Item 12L is recommendation for the CDBG slash CHIP grant writer administrator for 2020, Mr. Wood. Thank you, Mayor. Mayor and Council, this is a request to, um, to um, hire a grant writer administrator for our 2020 um, grant applications for CHIP and Community Development Block Grant Funds. Um, we um, solicited a request for uh, from uh, individuals um, and received three uh, proposals. Um, in reviewing those proposals, uh, staff recommends um, acceptance of Grant Specialists of Georgia Incorporated uh, for uh, that work. They have been uh, working for us for a number of years and do an excellent job. Uh, additionally, I want to point out that uh, this year, um, the administrative costs for a CHIP grant, not the Community Development Block Grant, but for the CHIP grant, can no longer be paid out of the grant proceeds. Um, and Georgia, uh, Grant Specialist of Georgia was also the low bidder in that uh, response with uh, a fee of 4% of the overall uh, grant. Uh, those, uh, the um, Others uh, included 5% and one that was 6 to 15%. So um, in addition to the excellent work that, uh, that Ms. Curtis has been doing for us in the past, she also has the low bid on this. So our recommendation is to um, hire grant specialists of Georgia Incorporated for the 2020 grant cycle. Thank you, Mr. Wood. What questions, Council Member, do you have on Mr. Wood relative to this grant writer? Hearing none at this time, I'll entertain a motion to approve the recommendation of staff of hiring uh, the grant writer for 2020. So moved. Second. Motion and second. All in favor, please indicate by raising your right hand. Please let the record show that the, res the recommendation was approved unanimously. Item 12G is awards of bids. 12G1 is bid number 2019-16. This is for forklift. Mr. Worthington. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, Mayor and Council, bid 16 is for the purchase of a forklift uh, for a vehicle maintenance department. We followed all of our standard uh, processes in advertising this procurement. We received four responsive bids ranging from $23,791.60 to $26,991. It would be staff's recommendation that we award this to the low bidder. 
uh, who was in the Kinnon Equipment and Services, and that was the amount of $23,791.60. Thank you, Mr. Worthington. What questions do you have relative to the bid on this forklift? Hearing none, at this time, I'll entertain a motion to accept a proposal from the Finance Department on this purchase at this time. So moved. Second. A motion and a second. All in favor, please indicate by raising your right hand. Please let the record show that the bid was approved unanimously. Item 12G2 is bid number 2019-17 for a zero-turn mower. Mr. Worthington. Uh, thank you again, Mayor. Mayor Council, uh, you will see in your packet that uh, this bid was for the purchase of a zero-turn mower. We, once again, we followed all of our standard procedures in advertising this bid. Uh, we received uh, five responsive bids, ranging from $11,526.20 to $17,300. Uh, it would be staff's recommendation that we award this bid to Walker Roads in the amount of $12,984. Uh, I would like to point out that Walker Roads was not the low bidder, but the lowest <laughs> bidder uh, proposed a brand of mower that we currently have, uh, that we've had some maintenance issues with, um, and so it would be our uh, user department's recommendation that we do not buy any more of that brand. So. What questions do you have relative to the purchase of the zero turn mower? Hearing none at this time, I'll entertain a motion that we accept the staff's recommendations uh, for the zero turn mower, awarding it to Walker Road Tractor. Mm -hmm. so, motion and second. All in favor, please indicate by raising your right hand. Please let the record show that the bid was approved unanimously. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. Item 13 is council member items. Ms. Fine Grace. I think we forgot an item, uh, but yeah. The we're, we're doing that next time. Thank you. Okay. Right. There, there was a couple that we're going to have to do, so we're going to do them at the next meeting. Thank you. <coughs> Mr. Jones? No, sir. Mr. Hall? Yes, sir. Mr. Hunt? No, sir. Mr. Peterson? No, sir. Mr. King? No, sir. Ms. Newton? Yes, sir. Mr. Gilmore? No, sir. Mr. Smith? No, sir. Thank you. Item 14 is department head items and staff items. I'll start. Do have anything from the city clerk's office, Mr. Warren? Yes, sir. Ms. King, anything from the department <coughs> administration? Now, uh, since you all out last week, the uh, copy of the audit, the yeah. report copy, mm -hmm. um, have not received a hard copy yet, should you want to uh, deserve to have one. And we've been making arrangements with Morgan and Jenkins to take it for you with the uh, audit discussion that we have. So. Okay. Thank you very much. Mr. Wood, anything else? Yes, I do have one item. Um, just wanted to point out that in 2020, um, we issued 476 single, new single-family residential permits. That is a by far record year. Uh, that was a 36% increase over last, over our best year, and 50 over 50% increase over. Uh, last year, and um, we had bets going in the office of who was going to be closest to the final number. Tracy Hester, our building official, hit it right on the nose, and he got January 1st off. <laughs> <laughs> He worked the night in the 31st. That's why I'm in the movie. Mr. Smith, any additional from Public Works? Yes, sir. Thank you. Mr. Bryant, anything? No, sir, not tonight. Thank you. Not tonight. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Bryant, Yes, sir. Um, we want to invite everybody to the perfect pair in honor of Council Member Peterson. Um, and to the perfect pair, we're going to have uh, hors d'oeuvres. And we would love for everybody to come and welcome her to the City of Perry family. Thank you. We'll look forward to doing that. You know that this is required when you count some of the for it. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> there would be something you can tell. Just kidding. <laughs> Mr. Swan. Yes, sir. Leisure Services. I, would, you, would you talk just a second about Saturday? Are you ready to do that or you want to save that up for some other time? Well, I can, I can recap. Um, look, let me stay. Um, thank you, 
man council. Uh, Saturday, this past Saturday, we had our open house at uh, Leisure Services. It was a great turnout. We had uh, 22 instructors there on site to showcase uh, <coughs> our upcoming uh, recreational leisure opportunities. So we had activities ranging from flight simulation uh, to yoga to uh, Spanish tours. We have a, we have a Spanish tour that's coming as well. So. Uh, we plan to do a recap through our social media and our website for those that weren't able to attend. Uh, we're just looking, um, looking forward to the future. We got some good things coming. Uh, I think we had about seven more instructors come in after Saturday. So we got a robust catalog of opportunities coming to our city and our community, and we're excited about it. So y'all come by and see us. All right. Okay. Thank you, sir. Please put you on the spot. For that. I was really impressed with all the vendors that you guys had out there in the meetings and being engaged in those different activities. Chief Lynn? Nothing nice, sir. Thank you. Chief Parker? Nothing nice, sir. Thank you. Mr. Worthington, any additional questions? Nothing for sir. We've got a big crowd here tonight that I didn't see tonight. I didn't see Mr. Turpin. Thank you. Item 15 are general public items. Is there anyone here this evening who would like to address mayor and council at this time? Thank you. Item 16 are mayor items. Again, I would like to wish everyone a happy and safe 2020. We're looking forward to a very Good year in the city of Perry, and I think most of you uh, saw that I used the word exciting in the newspaper in the interview, and I really am excited with the council members that we have in place and the staff that you as citizens have working for you in the city of Perry. I'm truly excited about the great things that we're going to do in 2020, and I really look forward to that. Uh, we are a little bit out of our cycle on meetings uh, because of the way the holidays fell. Our next work session will be next Monday night, January the 13th. It will be held in this chamber starting at 5 o'clock. The following Monday is a holiday, so we will not meet then. But we will have a council meeting that week. And that will be on January the 21st. Uh, our pre-council meeting will be held upstairs at 5 o'clock. And the council meeting will be conducted here in this room at 6 p.m. All of our meetings are open to the public, and we encourage public participation in those meetings. <coughs> if there's nothing else to come before us at this time, we will stand adjourned. And we thank you for your interest and participation.